I'm Tabitha Smith with Excel Supplements. Um, we have a product called Excel EQ, which most of these guys, I'm hoping, have been using throughout the year. Um, it is a high omega-3 vitamin E supplement that is a natural anti-inflammatory. So something I always stress to everybody is it's not just a wait till something gets hurt, but it's more a feed daily as a preventative. We're constantly asking those horses to do things that they wouldn't do naturally. So even though it might not be huge or noticeable, those joints are constantly getting wear and tear. And the, the benefit from feeding a, an anti-inflammatory every day is you're just eliminating some of that inflammation. Something that I just got here from the NRHA fraternity and a feedback I got there, which was really cool, is all the, a lot of the rainers do routine injections on two and three-year-olds because they stop hard, they turn hard, a lot is asked. One particular trainer that has been feeding it for about four years now, he's pretty much completely cut out routine injections, which is pretty cool because, I mean, aside from the, the expense of it, you know, anytime you stick a needle in a joint, it's probably not the most ideal thing. Something else that was pretty cool, we had a lot of um, horses that were on Excel in the prospect sale. And so these are, when they're yearlings and they're bought, x-rays are done. And they have the x-rays. And then you go through a year of training, and before they go into that sale, a full set of x-rays is done again. Consistently on the ones that were on it, we didn't have anything negative. We didn't have arthritic changes. We didn't have inflammation. And that was huge because, I mean, realistically, when you're putting the time and the money into any type of horse, whether it be a rainer or ranch horse or roping, you kind of want to maintain them as long as you can. That's, so the joints is a huge part. Another part of it is pretty much all performance horses, some form or another, deal with a little bit of ulcers, whether it be in the stomach or the hindgut or anywhere. Again, ulcers are as simple as a or an inflammation in the gut. So if you can address that with a natural anti-inflammatory, you're not going to cure them, but you're going to help maintain them every day. And so that's something, feedback I get a lot is less issues with the ulcers. Um, we get a great shine and bloom, which everybody loves, but I always just mention, you know, that, that really is a cool side effect. It's not the main focus. The focus is not to get shine. The focus is to have a healthy inside, and the shine comes on their own. So... I would just as rather have you guys throw some questions at me <laughs> or tell me a little bit about the experience you've had with it or any thoughts or comments. All at once. <laughs> so I, I use it as a daily feed, actually, with the show horses. And okay. with our endurance horse especially, you know, she, she was kind of cranky in her pen and might be the same. It really helped her. She wasn't diagnosed with ulcers, but we knew there was yeah. a little bit going on. And within about a week and a half of starting the feed to her on a consistent basis, she quit pacing in her stall, she quit chewing on the fences, and got became a lot happier horse to be around. And then also with it, we were able to start stabilizing the diet a lot easier. We were feeding a lot of alfalfa, and now we feed more of a grass hay based feed where she's holding her weight. And with her in these earn straights, she'll lope for 30 miles in two and a half hours. Yeah. And so it really helped create that balance of energy with that horse. You ride that whole time? We ride, she lopes that 30 You're miles. You're on her? My wife is, <laughs> yeah. I don't do it. I stay at home. <laughs> but it really, it really made a, a valuable difference in that horse's performance with that. So that's I'm I'm actually glad you brought that up because that's something else I've noticed too on a lot of on a lot of trainers. They're noticing the recovery time is quicker after a hard workout, and they seem to have more of a level of energy. It's not so much a high and a low. And so something that's pretty cool. I mean, Kentucky especially has been researching this for quite some time, but increasing the omega three in a horse's diet will actually increase the flexibility of the red blood cell walls. So for the barrel racers and the race horses, that's huge because you have bleeders. If you can make those blood vessels more flexible, they're less likely to rupture. On the endurance side of things and on the recovery side of things, if they're expanding more, you're getting more blood through and turn more oxygen, oxygen to the muscles and you have you know less risk of injury, but also the recovery time is quicker. So. But yeah, that's recovery that's is a big one for the endurance because yeah. we're, we're bet checked every twelve to fourteen miles along the course. Yeah. And so when it's, we come in, our, our our recovery rate is real important for that. Yeah. And and we're getting more and more eventers on it as well because I mean they do the dressage, the jumping, and then they have a huge course that they gotta go through. So I just want y'all all to remember that this is a girl that 
paid for all y'all's bottles. The money you got last year was from XLAQ. Thank you. And uh, all the buckles that I see here right now, uh, her company XLAQ is the one that, that bought them. So don't forget that. You know, I, I, I really appreciate what you've done. It gives people an opportunity, opportunity to actually peek in and see what happens. Granted, we more. shrink it way down into a short period, but it gives them a understanding of what goes on when their horse is being started so that's I mean that's a cool aspect to get out to everybody and let them check out so there's still a large community of people that don't understand what natural horsemanship training is and so it provides a platform across the country where more more people in the population can come in and see how it's done and what we're trying to achieve in a low stress environment yeah definitely and you get to see the number of ways that it's done yeah yeah y'all are yeah. Y'all are has got their own unique way. Yeah, and y'all are exceptional in in what you do. And we've I've had plenty of people that have come up and said, you know, I thought this was just going to be some stupid thing, either either just a bronc riding or it was going to be some foo foo event. And they're seeing how what y'all are doing is is uh is opening their eyes to there's different ways of doing things it it's not just a cookie cutter thing so i'm proud of all of y'all and and i am especially thankful for you well we're, like i said we're just thrilled to be a part of it so well thanks very much Thank you. how's that we're good <laughs>